In this video, I'll show you how to set up your iPhone 13 or 13 mini, like the one I have right here, for the first time. I'll show you step by step and it will be really easy to follow. So let's get started. When you receive your phone, take it out of the box and locate a button here on the right side. You'll have to press it two or three seconds and then let it go. You should see the Apple logo coming up and the phone will boot up. First thing, you have to select in which language you want to use the phone. I'll select English, and now you have to select which country. I'll select Canada. If you have an iPhone or an iPad and you'll want to transfer data to this phone, you need to follow here. Bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. In this case, I want to set up manually. I want to start fresh. So I'll press set up manually. It will ask me to select a Wi-Fi network. So go ahead and select yours. And you'll have to type the password of your Wi-Fi network. Once you're done, just press the join button and it will connect to your Wi-Fi. Here we go. If you can see on top here, we have a connection. You can press the next button on the top right. Now you'll have this page, you just have to press continue. It will ask you to set up face ID, so can you unlock your phone using your face. Uh, I'll set up this later, so I'll press set up later here. It will now ask to create a passcode, so you can unlock your phone. You can choose to not create a passcode just by clicking passcode options and you don't use passcode. I'll do that for the moment. Now, if you have a Mac, a PC or an Android and you'll want to transfer data on this phone, you can select one of these options. You know, I have an Android phone here, but I prefer starting fresh, so I won't choose any of these. Don't transfer apps and data. This is what I will select. Now on this step, you're obligated to enter your Apple ID. If you don't have one, you can always create a brand new one. But in my case, I just enter my email. Once you're done, you're going to click the next button on the top right corner and you'll need to enter your password for this account. All right, when you're done, click the next button again. Now it may or may not ask you for this step, but if you have another Apple device, like myself, I have another Mac, it will show a six digit passcode that you need to enter on your phone. Once you finish typing the last digit, it will automatically accept the code and go to the next step which is to accept the terms and condition. You can read them and at the end you need to click the agree button on the lower right corner. Now it will do its thing and it may take a few minutes, so I'll speed up. Here is another step that you may not see. If you have another Apple device like myself, it will ask you to enter the passcode of that device. So in this case, the password of my Mac. And once you're finished, just press the done button on the top right corner. On this page, you're going to press the continue button. You don't have any choice anyway. Here they will ask if you give the permission to use your location. This is your choice. I will choose to enable it. Now they will try to sell you an upgrade for your iCloud drive, which is a cloud storage service. You can do this later. So you can just skip this step by pressing here. Just press continue. You can decide to set up Siri right now, the voice assistant, or later by clicking set up later. It will ask you if you want to have this app, which is screen time that shows which app you're using the most and how much time a day you spent on them. You can press continue or set up later again if you want to take your time. On this page, you can choose to share this with Apple or simply click the don't share if you don't want them to see your data. Here you have to choose which appearance you prefer, the light one or the dark one. Again, choose and then click continue. 
you have to choose between uh, standard or zoom if you prefer bigger icons and this will give you access to your iPhone. Now I will show you how to insert the SIM card. The first thing you have to do is to take your SIM ejecting tool that looks like this one or you can take a needle. Now take your phone and on the left side you should see a slit. You see right here? Well you need to take your SIM ejecting tool and insert it in the hole and then you need to press until the tray, the SIM tray is ejected. Once it's done take it again and just pull it out. Okay. Now you can turn your phone the other way. Take the tray, take your SIM card and you'll see that there is a corner that is cut. You see? And there's a corner that is cut on the tray too. You need to align both of them. This way. Once you're done, take it with your fingers. Be careful to not drop it and insert it back in the iPhone. Make sure it's flush. To know if the SIM card is working, you can see on the top right corner here, whoops, sorry, on the top right corner we have some bars, it means we have signal. Thanks for watching and I hope this was useful. Please subscribe and give a like.